Okay, you open up Chrome and we're at a place on the internet and we have several tabs open, let's say. Uh, I'll open up another website here and yet another one uh, over here. And have all three of those tabs open. But let's say you're working and you're busy doing something and you close a tab you didn't mean to close. Well, you can always come over here to your history and select from your recently closed history here. And you'll see they'll be listed in the last close first order. Although these sites are still open, I've already done this once already, and so they're listed here in the order in which I close them. As a matter of fact, you can even say three tabs, and there's all three, and you can uh, restore them from there. But there's a far easier way than using the history function. Let's say we close down a tab that you're working on, and you went, oops, I want to get back to it. All you have to do is go to the plus sign, right-click, and now there's listed reopen close tab. All it's doing is using this history over here. You get it from the same data source. It just says, oh, your last closed tab is that, so that's what I'm going to open. So what happens if I close this one instead? Now if I do it, last open tab, guess what? It goes back and puts it right back where it was. Now this feature is almost infinite, okay? As long as it's in your history, you can continue to do this over and over again. Of course, if you do that and restore a couple of times, you want like five of them, it's much, much better to go over to your history uh, setting and uh, get the list from there. Again, skipping the most recent one and just selecting uh, third or fourth down the list. One last note, you're not limited just to restoring the last tabs. If you bring up your browser, even if it's a day later, and you wanna see what you were working on yesterday last when you closed it down, if you right click here, there it is, it says reopen the actual the whole window. So when I clicked on it, there they are, the same set. And if I drag over, you see I still have my original one. It opened up a completely new window with the tab set from before. So what about our friends using Edge, like me? Well, it does the same functionality, just a little bit different. So let's go over here to the menu first. And I'm going to go look at the history here. And you'll see that it has all the history of recently stuff, even for a few days. Or I can click near the top and click on Recently Closed. And there's a Recently Closed list. So I'm going to open up the same uh, websites, okay? And go over here to, uh, I have to type them out because they're not in my history yet on, on Edge. And let me click this one and we'll go to the uh, Blackbird site. And let's go here and open up my Atari Geek site and do that one. And there we go. So now we have the same set of things here in Edge. I can use the main menu over here in history and open them from there and figure out stuff from there. I just go there and there they are. Uh, recently closed, I click there and it shows all the recently closed. Uh, same selection process. A side note in Edge, I added a history button to uh, my the bar up here so I can get to that history just by clicking on that. But I digress. Uh, we close the extra tabs. And now they're going to be in the history again, of course. So if I right-click here, sure enough, reopen, close tab is available. I click on it once, and there's a one site. If I do it again, and repeat it, and it goes and does it for the next site. And one last demonstration of the functionality. It uses the history list here to determine what was closed last. Uh, so we just go back up to the, uh, the bar up here. We close them. They get put back at the top, and they get reopened in that order. So if we look here. Uh, there they are there. Quick note, uh, most of the browsers, this is Firefox, has exactly the same functionalities built in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want some more, please subscribe to the Yo Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.